In our previous film, She Bouncy Heaven, we told how the Jia Yang Company was planning to take the railway forward and avoid the closure which has been the fate of almost all other narrow gauge railways in China. While this film highlights the changes in the railway compared to earlier years, its heart has not changed. Almost all of these scenes from 2009 could have been filmed several years earlier. This is the unchanging face of Bago from the hillside west of the town. There are no new buildings to be seen and the ubiquitous brown tourist signs explaining the place's history are far too small to be seen from here. As the early morning train leaves Bago, we can see the larger tenders which all the steam locos now use. At the rear of the train is a red coach for tourists. With a premium fare, it offers a much better view, but the ride is scarcely better. With considerable investment in the small mine at Huangkun, there are coal trains throughout the day, slotted between the passenger workers.
trains cross at Jalba in 2011. Mobile phones are used for train control. And the passenger who nearly gets left behind is a camera toting tourist. Tourists are lured in large numbers with visions like this. The reality on a typical Chibansi day is quite different. With patience, the rainbow shot is there for the taking. It's just a shame they planted those trees. At weekends and on public holidays, train after train bring up the punters.
，好不得看到了，你没看到？哈哈，你也没写对，他给你来了两次，你都没写对。Such is the traffic that each train load gets one chance of a master shot before they are whisked away. Most passengers alight at Bago, and two coaches are left here for their use later. are no culture vultures. They're only here to get their snouts in the trough. Bago's naturally reared pigs are famous in Sichuan. I 
including one of the tourist coaches on a regular train, allows us to show the lowest tunnel, which is hidden in a curve. This update was mostly filmed in March, when Shibansi is ablaze with colour, particularly the yellow canola flowers and the fruit blossoms. Trains have to take care at level crossings, put in where new dirt roads cross the railway.
Cien Rengiao has been upgraded and is once again a full station with passenger trains using the loop line. On busy days, every tourist coach is needed for the extra trains, and regular trains are once again 100% green. At Jalba, passenger trains now use the West Line in the loop.
we'll skip the Bago stop and head straight on to Phong Khun. Huang Kun has been transformed. A proper platform has been built and the old mine buildings have been brought back into use as a museum. In 2008, we saw a freight train at Mifung bringing up equipment for the project. The old mine closed in 1988. It is now a major visitor attraction. Today, the guests are local government officials and top management has turned out to show them round. The blue suits and hard hats are provided for all visitors. This tunnel was originally used to take miners underground, hence the rails. Coal was removed using a vertical hoist. Lighting is minimal, with various exhibits giving an impression of operations underground. It's time to take the train back to Shishu.
Development comes at a price. Compare these two clips taken in 2010 and 2011.
although goods are being loaded, one passenger is still on the train. They'll treat this one carefully. It's a breeding sow. Back in 2006, we filmed Cole heading towards Hong Kong. This was its destination, the bathhouse at Bago. The coal comes from the company mine at Yuajin. Very little warning is given of its arrival. Even the unloaders only here at the last minute. Unloading has taken less than 10 minutes. Transferring it inside will take rather longer.
Unfortunately, there are some volunteers to do the final tidy up. Bath time at Bago is five o'clock and men and women are strictly segregated. This is another load of coal for the bathhouse, together with some pit tops for the mine.
it's a new loco. One that formerly worked on the railway at Pengzhou. These scenes were shot in 2011 when it was running in after repairs. it's distinctively different. Most obviously at the front end. A newer design with roller bearings on the driving wheel. has a different whistle too. And, as the next clip shows, the crews have not yet got the blowdown trick just right. This coal train was filmed in 2008 and the loco still has a small tender. Old trains now run all through the day, offering a range of new filming opportunities. Bamboo is a valuable crop, worth some 400 yuan a ton.
the panoramic view of the coal bin at Huang Kun is now history, as it has since gained a roof. The succeeding clips were taken from the right of the hillside opposite. This building is a temple. The figures are traditional and represent a landlord and landlady. A cold snap has decimated the banana plants, but they will soon recover.
Let's hope that both this old man and the railway won't be needing a coffin just yet. Shibansi is now, quite simply, the queen of the world's surviving real narrow-gauge steam railways. <laughs>